Good morning everyone and welcome back to uh, our YouTube channel Learn with Randy So today we have here here Frigidaire washing machine Front load washing machine the Model is FLC F07 GGABD So it's been lying here for some time now And as you see it has uh, a broken uh, door uh, lock handle and we have so many appliances here which is just lying around here and uh, you know seeing these appliances I feel like uh, you know, it's just a waste of resources so I'll show you another uh, more appliances that we have here We have a bridge, another two washing machine. Just dumped here, I'm waiting to deteriorate. So let us uh, repair this bridge uh, uh, there, front load automatic washing machine. Okay, so, continue watching till we we do the servicing and repair we will revive this unit so let us try whether this is still functioning in the system if it's still functioning so we turn off the switch and then plug That's an error of E11 door lock. Okay, so first what we'll do is we'll clean the unit and we'll open and service it. Okay, so we will continue our repair. The best thing we need to do is to clean the unit as it is uh, quite uh, dirty. Okay, so with using uh, using a piece of cloth, wet cloth, just simply clean clean the body of the washing machine. So we have cleaned the uh, body of the washing machine. Now the next thing we need to do is to check the uh, front door switch. So let me show you again what is the error of this unit. Okay, so we're gonna plug the power supply and then try and see error I hope you are seeing this it says E11 door lock okay so basically this is the door lock it has this uh, uh, door lock switch here inside so what we will do is we will remove this by removing the door seal and then we will going to repair this broken door latch or the door lock okay using uh, super glue we'll repair it okay so as i said we are now with it is already uh, on the unit is on with error e11 door lock so you know, safe practice we'll turn off the unit disconnect the power and then we will going to open the, the door uh, the door lock using uh, our power tools we remove all the screws
Okay, so we have removed the screw for the door, front door, front door lock. Please be careful not to break it. Okay, so as you see here, we have this latch here that uh, needs some repair together with this. Okay, so we will go in to repair it. It should be like this inside here, and this should be inserted here. Okay, okay so first we'll clean. It is so dirty. So this part of servicing, you should always clean. Now it's time for us to repair. As I said, using this uh, Loctite glue, we will going to repair the broken door lock. Okay. okay so this is the the door uh, lock with the return spring. We will going to fix it over here. See this? This is a slot insert. And then this will be. Okay, so using uh, Loctite, we're going to fix the door lock. Loctite or any glue. This is to bond the. Uh, door lock and not to disengage it easily in this position this is a slab there we put the uh, super glue the lactite and we have to press it it should sit on the maximum slab depth of the slab sometime Okay, so while we are uh, letting the glue or the Loctite to get dry, we will open the uh, front load door lock switch. Okay. So we will remove the door gasket uh, lock ring using a flat screwdriver and snap out the like this and then we remove the door seal then we remove the door switch Why we are removing it is because we need to to check if the switch is getting contact or not. So basically, this is a solenoid lock. Once the cycle is completed, it will lock the door. I mean, it will unlock the door. So during the initial wash, it will lock the door, and once the cycle completes, it will unlock the door. Okay, so what we will do now is we will open the door switch. We have disconnected it from the cable, and we will check and verify 
if there is a loose contact careful not to break the this lock because sometimes the plastic uh, gets brittle after time Objective here is we're going to check the limit switch inside. So now we have managed to open it. As you see here, we have this uh, the switches here, all NO and NC. So once the door gets contact, it will give a signal of uh, NC and NO. So here you have the solenoid, which is locking up the locking up the door lock or the door latch so we're gonna verify and check using our uh, multimeter ohms and we'll check whether the contact is okay or not so basically we will going to press this so the contact is clean and the other one So we'll verify whether we bring it down this is open okay and then here it's lock and unlock so as you see here this is the solenoid once it is energized this will give a signal or pull the lever to open and close the uh, the lock so the latch is getting locked here so as you see here if I push it up like this it's opening and closing okay so this is go this goes up and down to lock and unlock okay so to make sure we're going to clean the switches we'll clean this contact here sandpaper or even your clutch screwdriver so once it is or open it will contact okay, using our multimeter we will going to check the uh, continuity of the coil whether it is broken or not so basically you have the coil for opening and closing so this is the center one is the common so we have a resistance that means the coil is okay and then to check the other coil Okay, so that means our coil is fine now what we will do is we will dismantle the whole thing and uh, let us uh, lubricate it make sure you position it uh, the switch so that you can able to fix it back I'm saying uh, what I uh, was saying is this contact should be clean okay so basically this is the coil as I said this is the common 
and this is the coil for opening and closing okay so we have checked that uh, the coil the coil is fine see they are both on the same reading that means the uh, copper coil is not broken it's not uh, and this is the plunger when it produces magnet it opens and closes and this is the mechanical uh, lever to open and close the, the door through here okay so basically this is the, uh, the return spring to push it up and down the same thing as this one now we will insert the spring properly okay so as, as you are seeing here this is the um, composition of the the washing machine front door switch before you say before you say that the switch is damaged replacement make sure that you verify all of this because basically there are only few components inside the, the door switch so the contacts the coil and this mechanical lever okay so door lock door open and we will gonna fix it back like this so you open and close okay look at this open and to close so it's very simple system there is only some movements of the lever Okay, so open and close. Okay, fix this. This is the lock, locking hatch for the door. So you position it this way. This should uh, fit here. Like this. Okay. So open and then close. Open and then close. Okay, so now we will gonna fix the switch, but make sure that this is clean.
Okay, so after assuring that the contacts are clean, now we are starting to assemble it. Right? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we put the common contact. And let us keep this in this position, open position. Okay. As you see here, this is the contact point is here, and the other one is here, and then position the other contact like this. This is very easy. So this once it is on the energized position, it will open the contact here. Okay, so as you see here, they are both on contact. Then, if I will energize or open the lever, see both of them are open. I close it in this position. Both of them are, all of them are in contact. Now to verify whether it is contact using our multimeter or ohmmeter, we'll check. We'll check. So it's okay, they are all contact. Now we are going to close it. Okay, so now we verify that they are all contact. This is okay, this is okay, this is okay. Really moving, there is this the coils are okay it's it's not open and the contacts is getting contact or the, the contact point is clean now we're going to close it back okay see here and here we should all click in okay so locked and secured so again for for all the technician there make sure to check this this is the position of the door switch and this is the common for the coil see the reading is uh, 258 ohms on the other side again 258 ohms okay so we are going to fix it back we verify that the switch we clean the contact of the switch we are going to fix it back this it is more fun to watch uh, Randy Pix TV I mean learn with Randy okay so we will fix it like this because this is the locking system over here this way okay I put the screw Fix all the screws and then not to over tight because it is plastic. Okay, you don't want to over tight it. Now we're going to fix back the door. The door. Okay, now we're going to fix back the door uh, gasket so the groove here and this groove of the gasket should marry marriage or how do we say it should uh, lock in inside it should grip so we fix back in the gasket we made sure that it is properly clamping on the groove. Now it's time to fix back the lock spring. Okay. So there's this. Using a flat screwdriver, you can able to slowly pull the lock spring okay wait we have to position it this way okay. so it should be like this here 
ganda yan pool sa clean Glide in the black ring. Okay. What happened? Same as original. Then we don't forget to clean. Cleanliness is. Uh, next to godliness I don't know what's the saying okay so now we verified and repair the uh, door front door switch so next we will assemble the front door Our okay so since it is already dried the, the super glue or the lactate is already dried and that the return spring is working perfectly now we're going to insert it this way okay and then fix the pin using your uh, long nose going to fix the pin by the way don't forget to like and subscribe Done. Next one is this. This one. Yeah. Okay. So now it's fixed. Make sure that it is extended up to here. And next is we're gonna assemble this. Okay. So clean it. So we assembled it. It's time to fix back like this. Okay. And then go over here. 